Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about soybean reproductive stages. Well, there are a couple different types of soybeans. There are soybeans in the northern U.S. that will go through their vegetative stages, and at some point during the season, as the day length starts to get shorter, towards the end of June, they begin to put on flowers. So usually late June, early July, they'll start putting on flowers. Then there's soybeans further south in the country that they will go all the way through all those vegetative stages first, and then they'll put on flowers. Either way, once flowers are on the plant, the plant has reached the reproductive stages. So in the north, it could be going through vegetative stages and reproductive stages at the same time. In the south, once you see those flowers, the vegetative growth is done. To keep things fairly simple, what we do is we number each of these stages. So if you see or if you hear someone talk about V1 or V8 or whatever, that just stands for vegetative stage one or vegetative stage eight. Same thing with the R stages or reproductive stages. R1 is actually first flower. So as soon as you see a flower on the plant, we are now at R1. Well, it really changes things for farmers. Once they start seeing flowers out there, you'll see farmers changing up their whole management of those plants. Before flowers are on, farmers will be putting out herbicides and they'll be taking care of weeds and really setting the table for good yield. Once there are flowers out there, farmers are really cautious about anything they're gonna put on that field because they don't want to abort any of those flowers because all those flowers could eventually end up being pods full of soybeans. All right, so R1 is first flower, R2 is full flower. In other words, you've got lots of flowers on that plant. Just to keep it simple here, R3 is first pod. So once you see the first pod on that plant, you're now at reproductive stage three. R4 is what we call full pod so you've got quite a few pods on that plant. Well, when you're looking at those pods, here's another critical stage for farmers because if there are insects in the field, like take stink bugs, for example, they can actually pierce right into that pod. And even though that soybean plant may not abort the whole pod, it might give up on that one seed. Well, now you went from having, say, three seeds in the pod to now you've only got two. Well, that's a massive impact on yield if you have many stink bugs. Then there are other bugs out there, like grasshoppers, that could completely clip that pod off. If the pod falls on the ground, you have no yield. So here's where insect control could be really, really important for farmers. All right, so once we have all the pods, the later stages are basically R5 through R8. It's beginning seed, full seed, beginning fill, full fill. So once we get all that done, then we are at maturity. But the big thing is what we are always hoping for is that the frost holds off long enough for us because we want the seed to literally detach from the pod that is around it. Once that's happened, now we feel very safe that, hey, we can get a frost. It's not going to impact anything because there's no more growth, no more fill to that seed. One tricky thing about soybeans that's a little different than some other crops, if you get a little bit of moisture, whether it's a heavy dew or a rain, those soybeans can really swell back up and take on more moisture pretty easily, but they can also dry out really quickly in the afternoon. So harvest on soybeans, when farmers know it's time to go, it's time to go because the beans can be just right in the morning and by afternoon on a hot, sunny, dry day, they could be way too dry. So it, it's a little tricky to get soybeans harvested just right, but it's a fun crop to grow. Well, soybeans are a fun crop to raise, especially if you don't have this week's Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 